welcome to another video. Today it is hot. I'm struggling. I've kind of had enough of this heat wave now. I mean, it did rain a little bit earlier, but it's still too hot. Anyway, today I have for you a fairy loot unboxing. Everyone loves a good fairy loot unboxing, including me. So I am just gonna get straight into this because I've had it for a couple of days now without filming this and I just wanna open it and see what's in there. So let's dive in. Ready? Whoop. There we go. First things first, we have the print for the month. I didn't say, the theme was elementalists for this month and we have this little theme card here. Looks like thunder and lightning and stuff, which I don't think is an element, unless you call like weather an element. But yeah, this has all of the spoilers on the back for the month. It's pretty and I believe it's a new artist. Did they say they had a new artist for their theme cards? I can't remember, but I like it. Okay, the first thing I see in here is a little candle. This has a clear top, which is different. I've never seen a candle with that before. And it also has loose particles. Can you hear that? There's like loose bits on top of it, which I'm guessing are supposed to be there, but weird that they're loose. This is Witchwood Remedies Twister. Oh, so the company is Witchwood Remedies and the candle is called Twister, I guess. It doesn't say it's scent. Oh god, that is not one I like. That smells like fancy teas, and I don't like fancy teas, but if you're a fan of a fancy tea, then you'll probably like that, but um, I am personally not so sure. What is it? Is it like rose or something, like with those petals on top? I need to find out what scent this is, because I don't like it. This month we've worked with the people at Witchwood Remedies to bring you five different Stormheart candles. Stormheart? Is Stormheart a thing that I don't know of? Uh, the different Stormhearts are based on storms in our book of the month and contain crystals that match those Stormhearts too. They're all exclusive to this box and are handmade. Okay, so I have no idea what fragrance this is and it doesn't tell me. Something to do with Stormhearts though, which I am clueless about. Oh, and I'm guessing, are they the crystals? They're just beads, like bead stones. Um, I'm hoping I might, I don't know, come across this at some point in my life so I'll know what it is, but that scent is not for me. The next thing I see in here is a little lip balm and this is Airbender, which I am strongly guessing is something to do with Avatar The Last Airbender. That would make sense to me. Does it have a scent? Vegan Vanilla Lip Balm. There is a scent that I can get behind. Can I open this though because it has been absolutely like heat wrapped. Ah. So this is a bending lip balm from Geeky Clean and they sent one out for each element. So I got air bender and I'm guessing there was water bender, fire bender and earth bender as well. Let's see what it smells like. Oh yes, that smells like vanilla ice cream. I like that an awful lot. Um, the lip balm that we got in an owl crate, the circusy one, that was like caramel popcorn or something, I love that, it's actually really nice on the lips. Um, so I'm enjoying having another lip balm already because I've used pretty much all of that one. And this smells insane and if you've seen my owl crate unboxing of whatever one that was, you'll know that with that lip balm, I didn't like the scent because there wasn't one. Like it genuinely does not have a scent at all. It's supposed to smell of caramel popcorn and it doesn't. But this, like, that is good enough to eat. That is vanilla ice cream. Like proper vanilla pod ice cream, like haagen -Dazs. I am all for it. The next thing I can see is a piece of jewellery. Um, in the moment, handmade jewellery for your favourite moments, exclusively for Fairy Loot. And this is a little bracelet, anklet, something like that. And it's got a little hand on it and a little silver stone. I don't know if this is supposed to represent something or not. In the moment has created an exclusive Hamza hand bracelet for you this month. Hamza hand is a protective symbol and is said to bring the owner happiness, luck, health and good fortune. This is sure to keep you safe on your storm journey through our book this month. I'm getting storm vibes. So I think weather might have been a decent guess. I'm definitely getting storm vibes for whatever it is. But there you go. Honestly, I will probably never wear this, but it's cute. The next thing I see in here is these little potion bottle sticky notes, which are adorable. Um, and they are Fairy Loot exclusive. They're really, really sweet. I like them a lot. I'm always up for sticky notes. The potion sticky notes were brought to you exclusively by Fairy Loot. Fairy Loot themselves, thank you very much. I like these 
a lot. The next thing in here is just a little promo card, which is actually really pretty for a promo card. It's actually a postcard, but it's advertising Frostblood and Fireblood, which comes out in September. There you go, there's a release that I didn't know about. Um, I haven't read Frostblood, but I also don't own it, but I would like to at some point. Um, and this says, destroy the throne, kill the king, take your revenge. Oh my god, now I want to read it even more. This is doing a good job as an advertisement for me. And then we have a chapter sampler of the wa- oh no, not the walking land, the waking land by Callie Bates. The land will rise again. Magic, romance, revolution. The first book in an astonishing new trilogy, perfect for fans of Sarah J Maas and Leigh Bardugo. I feel like that is a bold statement to make. The next thing I see in here is a little triangle, and this is Fairly Exclusive Clairvoyance White Fig and Pomegranate Glycerin Soap Bar with added shea butter and activated charcoal. I love anything with activated charcoal! This is from Ascent Bath and Body, and I like the fact that it's a triangle and the wrapping is really pretty. Oh, and the smell. I can smell it quite faintly through the paper. It would probably be a lot stronger if I opened it. Oh, it's just black. It's just a black triangular soap bar. Oh, but that smell is really good. I like the scent of that a lot. The next thing I see in here is fabric. And it is a pillowcase. This says, I always hold things so awkwardly. Books are a uniquely portable magic. There you go. I don't have any pillows to put in it, but I like it. It's pretty. And lastly, that takes us on to the book. So as usual, it comes in a handy dandy little book pouch. Let's get it out. So we've got Fairy Scoop in there as usual. Uh, next month's theme is Tricksters. We've got my Fairy Loot reading code thing, which I never find my reading buddy for, but it's 7039 this time. I'll probably not find my buddy. And then we've got the bookmark that they now do every month so it's got the theme print and then it says June 2017 elementals and then we've got the book which is Raw by Cora Carmack Cora Carmack why am I holding it that way let's hold it that way Raw by Cora Carmack I really quite like the cover it's pretty it's kind of textured. Uh, I'm not normally one for people on covers and it definitely does kind of give off the vibe of cheap book to me, but I'm intrigued at the same time. In a land ruled and shaped by violent magical storms, power lo lies with those who control them. So all the storm things were leading to this. We also got a signed book plate that says the Stormheart series, so this must be something to do with that candle and maybe I'll work it out, I don't know. But we got a signed book plate which is really cute. Just put a little heart on it. Oh bless. And also the letter from the author on the little print of the cover. Do I want to know what it's about? A little bit, yeah. Challenge as a tempest, survive it and you become its master. Okay, I've just read the first paragraph of it. Pretty much, Stormlands, if you control storms you are gonna be a ruler, her family have ruled, she is their only heir and she doesn't have the power. So I'm guessing this is going to be her journey of developing the power or finding the power or maybe coming to terms with the fact that she won't ever have it. I, I doubt it. She's probably going to get the power somehow. But there you go, that's a brief little. She doesn't have the power and she needs it to be queen because she's going to be queen. And there we go. I am so so about this box. I mean, the book seems good enough, I mean I'm not like jumping out of my skin at it, but it seems okay, like good enough book, I'll give it a read at some point in my life. The soap, I love. The lip balm, I love, like that scent is gorgeous. The sticky notes, I love, they're adorable. The bracelet's cute, but I'll never wear it. And the candle's pretty, but the scent is not for me. I mean, it'll look pretty in bookstagram photos and stuff, but the scent is definitely not for me. Maybe once I've like tipped all the stuff off the top of it, maybe it'll serve a purpose as a candle, but with that smell, yeah. There we go. I'm going to leave it at that because my camera is overheating and flashing warnings that it's going to die on me. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, chat to me down in the comments. What was your favourite item from this box? Have you heard of the book? Blah blah blah, you know the drill. And if you fancy subscribing and you aren't already, I'm always eternally grateful for that. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and some odd days in between if I'm feeling generous. And I will see you next time. Bye!